the weekend, we've seen another third division side with its eyes on a Wembley final, Shrewsbury Town, who yesterday went to first division Wolverhampton Wanderers for a sixth round FA Cup tie. And that's our next action. As we go across to Molyneux, join the ATV cameras, commentator Hugh Johns, Wolves in the black shorts. Daniel knocks that one forward again, only as far as Griffin. Tom Cross and Berry helps it up. Richards, nicely off the hit it. Looks back in for Richards. And he's in with a chance. Richie Blue. Well, all started with Richards knocking the ball across to him. Beautiful return ball. John Richards did the difficult thing by dummying his way through the Shrewsbury defence. Open goal shot. And he didn't even force Wardle to make a save. The ball given away to Hibbert. A car. Palmer advancing up this right side. Oh, and a chance for Daly. Great reaction saved by Wardle. Oh. That ball was knocked in, it looked as though Shrewsbury had the easiest job to clear it, but didn't. In fact, dropped it as a free gift to Daly. First time shot, Wardle reacted well. Good nick on from Biggins, and Berry's got a starry against Maguire, and he's there. And, oh, that was a chance. It was George Berry getting his uh, shorts in a bit of a twist? And Maguire almost had himself a chance there. He certainly thought he might have had a penalty. But before he could do anything about it, the chance was gone. And here's Parkin. Daly. Daniel. Shrewsbury coming out. Daly. Richards helps it down, and Turner is well positioned. But he didn't get a good clearance. Carr, Hibbett. Berry, a car, looking for Daly, Richards, Hibbert. Well, there was a big appeal for a penalty against uh, Shrewsbury then. But referee Clive Thomas let the play go on. And certainly when the chance came to Hibbert, it looked as though he had an open goal to aim at. But a rather weak shot bounces away clear. Chapman helps that on. Biggins has it eventually. But Turner. And Maguire's all right because Berry didn't come out. And this far side is Atkins. Maguire may not need him. Oh! So close. Poor Maguire. Well, that's the excitement of the cup. I think if he kept a cooler head and looked across the park, he'd have spotted Atkins. All coming about, in fact, because George Berry was late out and everybody's having a go at Berry now. He was late out, which allowed Maguire to be on side. Goes through on his own, tries to score when he might have clipped the ball across the box to Atkins. Parking down. Carr begins. Will Maguire catch that? Corner. Well, they got a corner out of it. John McCall. And we'll be looking for Chapman in the box. Griffin has gone up more or less far post. Sammy Chapman is more or less near post. There he is, hand on hips on the goal line. Is uh, Biggins. Atkins lurking around the penalty spot. McGuire's kick. Rafferty's headed down. The shot. Off. And now, begins off the line by Palmer. Turner diving in. And finally, Richards out. Well, that was panic stations and there might be some more. As Hayes takes it on down the line for Maguire. Well, that corner kick from uh, Paul Maguire caused all kinds of problems. Rafferty's header out when he came down as far as uh, was it Tong and his shot cleared away. Then when Biggins had a half chance, again Wolves got it off the line. And Maguire in a chase with Berry. He needs some help. 
Or does he? Oh, Derek Barkin took that one right on the chin. Oh. I'll turn this over to him to see if he's all right. Oh. <laughs> couple of praying mantises there. Maguire slipping away from uh, George Berry. And then when Parkin came to help out, makes the ball slap in his mouth. Sammy Chapman, oh, that was a mistake, and he doesn't, hasn't made too many of those. Daniel gets a second bite at the cherry, gives it across to Parkin. Daniel to his right, a dummy, and aims through for Rafferty. Yes! Yes! Wardle was there, what a super save by Bob Wardle. And again, the unluckiness of Billy Rafferty, illustrated there. Daly across, Rafferty again, and Griffin kicks it clear. Well, how unlucky can you get? Billy Rafferty really has had rotten luck all this season for Wolves, been out of the side a long time, hasn't scored in 14 previous games this season, but there he thought he was in with a shout, until Bob Wardle pulled off a tremendous save. Aiming for Sammy Chapman, in fact, gets a corner of Parkin. And corners in this second half have been uh, a dangerous thing for Wolves. Shrewsbury there. Third one here now. Maguire will take it. Looking for Sammy Chapman to get a touch. And a try and try. Superb try from the player manager, Graham Turner. Once again, Maguire causing problems. The ball curling in. Chapman flick over his head. And then Turner, a shot which might have curled away from Bradshaw, but he, the goalkeeper hung on to it. Well, Shrewsbury, I'm sure, encouraged by no goals at half-time. Are, uh, are really coming at Wolves now. There's Biggins going in. He'll get there too. Looking for Tong. No, Atkins. Open goal. Here's Maguire. And it was charged down. Well, that was real cool stuff by Steve Biggins. Stopping the ball dead, beating his man, curling it across the box. Two chances. The last one to Maguire. And somehow Wolves blocked the effort. Wolves with uh, six in the box. And here's Palmer's kick. Wardle comes, got a good touch. Daly! And that was Wardle, a superb save again from John Richards on the turn. This goalkeeper, Bob Wardle, not too well known. Only a couple of dozen games behind him for Shrewsbury. He is making his name this afternoon. That's the third cracker of a save that he's made reactions to that shot from Richards really first class down the line to Daly actually a free kick's been given already for that uh, rather wild boot actually Clive Thomas once of Triorki now of Porth Call I'm quite sure that the Free kicks taken from the right spot. It's Daly to take it. Several targets to aim for. Rafferty. Touch. Rafferty again. And he scored. Billy Rafferty's got it. He's broken the deadlock. And Rafferty's first goal of the season has put Wolves in front. 34 minutes of this second half gone. Free kick from Daly. Rafferty got the first touch on it. And when the ball came back to him, he buries it in the top left-hand corner. Superb goal. Oh, ball given away. Chapman then. And that's a nice pass on from Turner to Maguire. Penalty. Maguire went for it. Daniel a tackle. Referee Clive Thomas in, no doubt at all. 
Turner, that ball on to Maguire. Cuts forward, and he was looking for it as soon as he got in the box. Daniel provided the tackle. Down goes Maguire. Referee Thomas points to the spot. Paul Bradshaw saved uh, three penalties this season. On the other hand, Ian Atkins here has scored four out of the ten goals that he's got. This for 1-1. One, one. Yes! With less than five minutes to go, Ian Atkins keeps Shrewsbury's hopes alive. Well, no doubt about the penalty, no doubt that there's a replay at Shrewsbury now on Tuesday night. Two cup ties on the programme today, but nobody winning a place in those semi-finals, except, of course, that Liverpool are there, having won at Ipswich yesterday. Well, it